Today in 1914, four-year-old Charlotte May Pierstorff is mailed by train from Grangeville, Idaho to her grandparents' house, 73 miles away. In the early days of the Postal Service, there were no clear regulations of what could or could not be mailed. On January 1, 1913, post offices began accepting parcels over for pounds, and people immediately began testing the limits. There were about seven instances between 1913 and 1915 of people sending their children in the mail. After all, it was cheaper to pay for stamps rather than a ticket aboard a passenger train. After the Pierstorff incident, Postmaster General Albert S. Burleson officially banned accepting humans as mail. However, the new regulation did not stop people, and about a year later a woman mailed her six-year-old daughter from Florida to her father's home in Virginia. That was a 720-mile trip, which cost 15 cents in stamps. The popular photos of mailmen carrying babies are staged. 